Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be restoring this Corgi Jr's James Bond 007 Lotus Esprit. As is quite common with these little Corgi Juniors, there's not a whole heap of information that's readily available about it. But I believe these were produced around 1977. This car is from the James Bond movie The Spy Who Loved Me, starring Roger Moore. You can see the fins sticking out the side. This is from the scene where they escape a car chase by driving the car underwater. Taking a look at this example, it's definitely pretty beat up. It's missing the roof and one of the front pillars. Be interesting to see if I can fix that up. It's also really filthy and the paint job on the remaining parts of the casting is really worn out. The rear window is also quite damaged. Fairly grubby underneath on the base. This little secret agent Lotus has sure seen plenty of action. So I'll begin by taking the car apart. There's three rivets holding it together. Before I move on with repairing that body, I'm going to make sure that I can fix this rear window up to some degree. You can see it's fairly cracked and this little piece is just hanging in there. I begin by giving it a good wash in some hot soapy water. This made it fall apart a little bit further, but I managed to save the pieces. I'm going to use a little bit of super glue to hold the pieces in place. I also glue the cracks back together. I then need to get a, a little bit of milliput. I use this to fill up the cracks and build it up a little bit. Here it is after curing overnight. I'm now going to hit it with a coat of grey primer so that I can get a better idea of where I'm up to. It still looks pretty scruffy. So I'm going to use some of this Tamiya putty. I'm going to try and fill up all of the remaining cracks and pits etc and also trying to build up some of the detail again. Once this had cured I gave it a bit of a sand and a file and tried to get it looking as good as I could. Then I gave it a coat of black paint and here it is. It's definitely not perfect but it's fixed. 
with the windscreen fixed I can move on and fix the badly broken body I start by stripping all the paint off with some poly stripper the remaining front pillar broke off but I managed not to lose it down the plug hole the casting is fairly thin Corgi not exactly wasting the die cast metal here so it's no wonder that it's broken over time I use a wire brush on my rotary tool to give it a clean up, removing any remaining scraps of paint and oxidation off of the casting. Once this was cleaned up, I cut out some pieces of thin styrene board. I'm going to use this to build up the missing parts of the car, the roof and that missing front pillar. Here you can see I've glued the replacement parts in place with some Starbond super glue. This stuff sets super hard. I've sort of built up the joins with it. I'm now going to build it all up with some Tamiya putty. This was left overnight to cure and then I filed and sanded it down. It's starting to look pretty good. There's still a few pits here and there. You'll find when fillering stuff like this it's pretty difficult to ever get anything smooth on the first go. So I'm going to add a little bit more Tamiya putty and let this cure and then I can sand it and file it back down again. Here it is, it's starting to look a lot smoother. Next I'm going to give it a thick coat of grey primer, but I don't want to put primer all over the whole car and start covering up the details, so I mask off everywhere except for the fixes. Here it is after two really thick coats of primer that I've let dry for quite a while. I can now take off my masking and give it a final sanding down. And here it is after a final sanding. I'm pretty happy with that. I now give it a couple of coats of nice white paint. Here I've printed out some new 007 decals for the front of it. Because that's just what a secret agent wants on the front of his car. Those of you with eagle eyes out there will note that the original had a sticker and it was a bit larger. I think, personally, I think it looks nicer like this. This was given a coat of gloss clear and I moved on to doing the base. It's in pretty good condition, it's just a bit grubby and these wheels are worn out. I'm going to replace them with some Hot Wheels wheels. Here it is after a wash and I just gave it a coat of black paint. So that's all of our parts finished and ready to go back together. You can see the white rimmed Hot Wheels wheels I've chosen there from my stash of spare wheels. All I had to do was pop the parts back together. Before we take a look at our finished restored Corgi 007 Lotus Esprit, let's just take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. A really grubby, worn out old Esprit with a broken roof, a missing front pillar. The paint job is all worn out, the tires are worn out. It's a proper die cast disaster. So let's see what can be done with it. And here it is, our restored 
Corgi 007 Lotus Esprit from the 1977 film The Spy Who Loved Me. The broken roof and missing pillar have been repaired. The broken back windscreen has been repaired. It's been given a nice tidy new white paint job and some nice new wheels. I think it's looking much more worthy of James Bond now. Now I'd like to welcome all of my new subscribers and say a huge thanks to everyone for the awesome comments and likes on my videos. And as usual, an extra special thanks to my awesome Patreon supporters. Check out the link in the description below if you'd like to help support the channel. Thanks heaps for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.